Hello! Welcome to my channel! This channel is about my journey on applying to different virtual assistant agencies and to also give some tips based on my personal experiences with the application processes. So if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Hello NC! Just a short background about myself. I am currently employed full-time in a BPO company for five years now. But um, I just think that it's already time for me to pursue my dreams in working from home permanently while earning. That's why I'm trying to apply with uh, different VA agencies. So there, uh, please join me in my journey of finding a job in the VA industry. Just leave a comment down below and I'll answer questions as much as I can. So one of the agencies I have tried my luck with was with Athena. So among all VA companies, actually, I think um, Athena has one of the best benefits and perks. So I really wanted to be part of them. But um, just a disclaimer though, I am not an employee with Athena yet. I am just an applicant sharing my experience during my application with them. So, Alright, um, we're going to discuss about the perks. So these are just few of their benefits. My most favorite is the part where um, Athena is providing MacBook to their executive assistants. But um, once you're already matched with the client, so you still need to have your own laptop during training. So their application process, uh, first you need to fill out the application form. Of course, that's, that will be found on their website. The first step is the skills assessment. And once you pass, uh, you will be taking inbox management playbook and lastly is the final interview and of course the job offer so i'm just going to um, give you a quick look on how their application form looks like so i just fill out all the details here and submitted it after i filled out the application form i immediately received an email confirming that they received my application form so um, here's the email of the confirmation right. so the first step that i need to take is the initial initial assessment or the skills assessment it's a 60 minute online assessment but the good thing is uh, there is no time limit and you can take the assessment for 48 hours after you receive the email so take your time guys uh, once you started the assessment okay so um the skills assessment para lang siyang um, exam sa school okay for the math um there's um questions about personage I'll give you an example like um, a car cost $20,000 so price went up by 20% and another $8,000 so the question is how much did the price go up as a percentage of the original price so something like that and then identifying smallest and largest value and of course the common um, number series so English naman um, antonyms and synonyms like um, investigate or ins I mean investigate inspect do they have similar meanings or contradictory or neither or neither nor sorry uh, pain is to injury as success is to what something like that uh, true or false parang logic type and of course grammar so number one tip is to use google guys and you can also ask for help from your friends or relatives who might be good with this type of assessments and of course do not just rely completely sa answers of google try to analyze the problem especially sa math try to also solve it on your own and just confirm the answers sa google after taking the assessment, I immediately received an email saying I passed and I can already take the next step, which is the 
inbox management playbook. Maraming nagsabi na mahirap daw to. So, wait for my next video. Bibigyan ko kayo ng um, detailed tips on how to pass the inbox management playbook. So, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and see you sa next video. Bye-bye!